Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. So I'm calling from, well, I'm in the United Kingdom. My name is Teacher Lynn. What about yourself? Okay, my name is Prakash and I'm a teacher in the western part of India. West. That west would be Mumbai, Mar Maharashtra? Gujarat. Oh. Next to... Okay. Next to Maharashtra, Mumbai. Yes, yes, I, I know where Gujarat is. Yeah. Well, Are have, you been to, have you been no, to Gujarat? I, no, I would love to come. Oh, I would. Gujarat is a place where Mahatma Gandhi was born, Sardar <sighs> Patel was born. Also, Gujarati people are very hardworking and very business minded. Definitely. <laughs> Mm. So, so I you, have a, you, you know a lot about Gujarati people. That's good. Very good. So you <laughs> actually, I saw your profile video and that's why I made a mind to talk with you. I must talk with this experienced teacher today. That's why. Uh, you're very, you. very welcome. Yeah, I've got many years. Uh, I was working in Africa, in Tanzania uh, for the British Council. And in, in Tanzania, there are many, many Gujaratis. In fact, the... Uh, the Gujaratis were brought in by the British to work on the railroad. Would have been way back, a uh, long time ago. And when they came, they came as rail workers. And within a short period of time, they were starting to set up businesses, etc. And now they are the strongest and the most powerful in Tanzania. The, the wealthiest people are the Gujarati people. But actually now... They're Gujarati Tanzanians, so they're like a mix. <laughs> okay. So tell me, why are you learning English, yeah. Prakash? Why? Okay, so my purpose is crystal clear. I'm an English teacher in India, in Gujarat, right. and I want to improve my English to help my teacher more. So the more I learn, the better I can teach in my in my classroom. That's why I've decided to improve my English or to brush up my English. Fantastic, good. So you've chosen holidays and vacation, and it's an IELTS. Any reason why you've chosen an IELTS? Uh, okay, here I can, you can evaluate, evaluate me. I will do. Yeah, but I have done so many free conversations, so later on I decided to to talk on the particular topics. It's where the, Yeah, the teacher can evaluate my English. Yes, I mean, Yes, it's good to have conversations, but there reaches a point where you need more vocabulary and you are able to get more evaluation on a topic. I think the problem with India probably is the pronunciation, but then you've got the, the, the pronunciation from what's your mother tongue? Gujarati. Mm. So, uh, but I mean, as long, I mean, pronunciation is always different. It's not a big problem. I will, I will listen for grammatical errors for you. And I will give you feedback on your vocabulary. Okay. Thank you. So this is, um, and your fluency, and how you express your ideas. Okay. So yeah. holidays and vacations. Well, this is a funny topic these days when, in during the pandemic, we cannot take uh, holidays. Yeah. Easily. Um, okay, so IELTS is good practice for you, even if you're never ever going to take the exam in your life, it's still good practice. So, uh, this is actually the rubric that an examiner uses in order to, to evaluate the different competencies in your English, like your fluency your vocabulary, your grammatical range and accuracy, and your pronunciation and intonation, which is the hardest part. But that doesn't really influence you unless you're taking an IELTS exam. Um, okay, so we've got holidays and vacation vocabulary. Uh, you've got adjectives, adverbs, noun phrases, collocations, and linking words. So I'd like you to pronounce the words, starting with the adjectives. Ancient. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, woo, 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 woo. Again. 
A. Ancient. A. Ancient. A. 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 Ancient. A. Ancient. Yes. Ancient. Good. Next one. Gorgeous. That's fine. Breathtaking. <clears throat> the first syllable. Breathtaking. What's this? Breath. Breathtaking. Breath. Not breath. Breath. Yeah. Breathtaking. Yes, you got it. Breathtaking. Do you understand the meaning of breathtaking? Yeah. Uh, breathtaking means very attractive. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the next time. Cozy. Yes. Picture skew. It's a, it actually comes from French. We have many French words in the English language. Uh, it's pronounced like the French word. Any ideas? No. Picturesque. Picturesque. It's very Picturesque. common. We use it a lot to describe. Uh, it's like you're looking at a view of anything and it looks like a picture. It's so pretty. Mm. Yeah. This is why picturesque. Some some of your villages, some of your villages in Gujarat are very picturesque. Okay. And the last one? Quite. 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 It's an adverb. And the adjective quiet, different meaning. So quite is a quantifier. Quite. Quite cozy. Okay. Quite yeah. cozy. Lovely. And the noun? Monument. Almost. Monument. Monument. Mo, mo, monument. Monu monument. Good. And here we have the phrases and collocation. The first one. A couple of ago, mm -hmm. tourist destination. Yes. As well as, needless to say, needless, needless to say, fortunately. Oh, for, oh, oh. Fortunately. So, fortunately. Fortunately. Good. All right. Good. You have, for an Indian, excellent English. <laughs> Very good. Uh, this is something just for IELTS. I don't think it's of any use to us. Uh, this is IELTS tip here. Uh, collocations, I'm sure you're aware of collocations in English that we use certain verbs that match together with certain nouns. It's vocabulary, yeah. For example, we make a cake but we do homework. I'm sure you're mm. familiar with this collocation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're learning English, many people, they don't know. So actually, this is part two of an IELTS examination where <coughs> you are, you have one minute to prepare some key words or thoughts <coughs> and you speak in a monologue for two to three minutes, you have to use the correct tense. You need to focus on the, the question words. You make sure that you cover every point. And if you run out of ideas, you continue to speak, even if it's slightly off this topic. But then again, it's only two or three minutes. And then in an IELTS exam, the examiner will say thank you if you talk too much. Okay, so I'm going to give you one minute to, to look at the task. It's a good practice this because it really tests your ability to be able to, to use the correct language, the correct tense. Okay, so you've got one minute. <clears throat> Uh, but can I start now? I'm ready. Yes. I'm quite comfortable with this. 
ओके ओके सो आई एम द पर्सन हु वांट्स टू एक्सप्लोर द वर्ल्ड बट फर्स्ट आई वांट टू स्टार्ट माय कंट्री सो आई ऑलवेज लुक फॉरवर्ड टू विजिटिंग सम टूरिस्ट अट्रैक्शन प्लेसेस एंड जस्ट लास्ट ईयर I got a chance to go to the southern part of my country, that is Hyderabad, which is also known for the Pearl City, which is also known for the Char Minar of Hyderabad, and uh, it is also famous for the Golconda Fort, where the Kohinoor diamond was sold first time. So I went there with my friends and. that time i was very excited because it was my first journey by plane by air so it took very short time to reach there and i had so many so many plan for that that uh, tourist place because i heard a lot about that before that and it was the first time i was going to visit that place real in real life so when i we uh, were reached there around 9 pm and i got a i i i i got a room in a hotel so very next day my friends and i made a plan to visit this place first means the first we went to the char minar of hyderabad where we tasted the famous irani chai and usmania biscuits so which are very famous there and biryani is also hyderabadi biryani is also famous all over my country so my friend was non vegetarian and i am vegetarian so i i missed the chance to taste that hyderabadi biryani because of that that is the non vegetarian dish and the next day we went to we 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 made a plan to go to the golconda fort which i have already told you earlier about so why it is actually this is the indo persian ka uh, architecture indo persian architecture and many movies are made there actually there is a shooting spot also and you can see the ancient ruin there hmm. so where uh, our guide just describe everything about the glory his uh, history about history about that place and we were told about the kohinoor diamond which were for which was sold first time in golconda fort hmm. and also i actually how can i miss that thing ramoji film city that is also the attractive place for hyderabad so most of south indian movies you know tollywood movies are made more more than 400 movies are made every year there so you can see the big sets there and when i wa uh, visited that, that place everywhere the shooting was going on so i also got the chance to see some actor and actress that so it was a breath taking uh, uh, view for me because it was an amazing place and really i look forward to visiting that place again because i didn't have more time but next time i will visit definitely definitely Uh, I mean, obviously, if this was a real IA exam, you you went off a little bit topic. Explain what you liked most about uh, this place. I suppose you would you would say what I liked most about this place would be ancient ruins of the Persian Hindu ancient ruins and the reason why you liked it. You made very few errors. You just said we uh, I had so many plans. Okay, rather than I had so many plans. Yes, and the pronunci pronunciation of Persian, Persian, the Hindu Persian, Persian. Persian. Okay, Persian, Persian, Persian. There's two syllables, Persian, Persian, Persian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Persian. Uh, I mean, with the grammar, excellent. Just, just. couple of small errors with the plans and you know and uh, your pronunciation was fine there was just a couple of issues with with pronunciation but you have excellent fluency which is great and that you're able to talk on the topic which is wonderful 